always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Good afternoon, students. Mr. Face here with a YouTube video. So in today's video, we'll be looking at how to draw a wine glass using the circular method. So we're going to take as much information as we can from this drawing. So I'm just going to zoom a bit. So zoom a bit. So the main information that we need is that we need to know that the radius of the circle is 33 millimeters. Because we're using the circle method, so we will be drawing the circle first. All right. So we know that from this end of the circumference, or this end of the circle going in this direction, we need to go 100 millimeters. And from this end point where this line ends, we're going to go 50 millimeters. All right. Also, we know that the arcs here are 10 millimeters radius. We know that. The stem is 9 millimeters, so you're going to go 4.5 from the center line here to here, and 4.5 from the center line here to here. And also, we know that from here, which we are at 55 ends, we are going to go down 3 millimeters and join here to here uh, at a distance of 62 millimeters. Alright, so we can now start our join. So we're going to start a new join, so we're going to open a new join. All right, so the first thing when we achieve our grid here, we turn on the grid mode. We're going to turn on also polar tracking. And we are going to come here, object snap. We turn on object snap. We turn on object snap tracking. And then we turn on object snap and we go to Turn on these endpoint, midpoint, center, quadrant, intersection, perpendicular, and tangent. All right now, we want to select the scale that we're drawing at, so we're trying to a scale at one of 1 to 50. So, before you start drawing, you have to select your scale 150, 1 to 50. All right, so we're going to set up our join here as now. So, we're going to type un, which is a short for units, and we are going to set our precision to be zero. And we are trying in millimeters and the specified intensity of lightning is international, so we're going to type OK. Right, we're going to type L, we're going to type L I M for limit, the short for limit, and the lower left hand corner will always be zero zero. So we press enter and we're going to use a tabular size paper, so we're going to type for the Upper right hand corner, we're going to type 420, comma 297, enter. All right, so we want to zoom this area, so we're going to type Z for zoom, press enter, A, which is all of this area, and we press A for all, and enter. All right, so the drawing area is now set up, so we're now ready to draw. So the first thing that we want to draw, we said was the circle. So we're going to come to draw. And in the draw com in the draw command, we're going to select circle and center radius. So we're going to select a specific where we want to be the center of the circle. So we select any given point, and we are going to select the diameter. So we want we know that the radius is 33, and the diameter is twice the radius. So we're going to type 66 for the diameter. And we press enter. All right. Now. We say that we need a line from one end of the circle going in this direction, 1G. So we're going to select line command. We're going to look for the midpoint or the quadrant, which will go through the center of the circle. So we're going to turn on auto. So this is polar tracking auto. So we turn on auto mode, which allows you to draw 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So we select our first point, which is here, right? And we move in the direction we want to go, and we type 100. We press Enter, right? Also, being that we are here, escape. So being that we are here, we know that the end of the wine glass, the distance is 46, right? So because we're at the center, 
and we can't draw one straight line we're going to draw two lines and then make them one so this is how we're going to do it so we're going to select line command you come to the end point of this center line we type 23 because a half of 46 is 23 and we press enter spacebar to get rid of the command spacebar get back the command you come back to the end point and you go in the other the opposite direction 23 and you space bar get rid of the command all right so we want to just finish up here the top section of the circle the top section of the wine glass so we are going to turn off auto for a while and we're going to type l which is for line and you select line and then you're going to specify your first point which is the end the end point here and we're looking for the tangent right so we select where the tangent is we space bar get rid of the line command space bar to get the line command so we come here where the tangent is space bar get rid of the command so now we um, complete the top half of the wine glass so now we need to draw the bottom section so for that we need to come here and we're going to go 55 which is from here to here right here all right and then we are going to go three from here to here all right so we're going to do that now so come back here and we turn on auto auto mode and we space bar to get back the line command and we come to the end point of that line we move in the direction we want to go so we type 55 enter space bar get rid of the command and we know that from here now we should have a line going across which is 62 millimeters all right so we're going to do that now so we're going to type we're going to select space bar come to the end of that line we're going to go 31 because a half of 62 is 31 on this side and space bar get rid of the command on this side now we're going to go 31 as well enter space bar get rid of the command so we want to join the line so if you select here and here we notice that it is two separate lines right so if we escape we select here we see that it's the one line there and here see that it's one line here so in order to join the lines now we're going to join j and we press enter one line so the same thing for here j enter all right so we said that now from this line here to here is three millimeters so we're going to offset so we're going to offset this line down three millimeters so we select offset which is right here and we type the distance which is three millimeters enter set the object and move in the direction you want to offset it and that is it um, escape let's see the command so now we're going to select the line command once more no we're going to offset because remember from this time is this time is nine millimeters right so we're going to offset to get this time so using the offset command once more select offset select the distance um, 4.5 enter then you're going to select the object you want to offset which is the center line so move in the direction you want to go uh, move in the direction you want to go all right escape now we're going to select the line command and we're going to close so we select endpoint to endpoint spacebar spacebar again endpoint to endpoint escape or spacebar so now we want to complete the stem so we need the arcs here so here it said that the arcs here is of a radius 10 so we go back to our join and we're going to do that so we're going to use the fillet command so we select fillet we type r enter and then the radius is 10 so we press enter so once we do this once you select the fillet command and you type r enter and the radius you don't need to do that because all of the radius is 10 so you don't, you don't need to repeat that process so we're going to select the first object and the select second object right so for here space bar get by the command first object 
second object. All right, I'm going to move a bit slower now. So spacebar, I get by the command. So you select the first object here and the second object, which is there. All right, so we realize that the line now is no longer there. So we're going to use the line command. The line command, and we are going to join the endpoint to endpoint, right? And then we are going to go back to fillet. You type R, enter, and the radius is 10, so you press enter. And you select your first object and your second object. Right? So we see that now the wine glass has shaped out nicely, right? So now we need to get rid of the unwanted portion. So we can do trim. So we come here, we can select trim, or we can type TR, and we select trim, and you press enter, enter. So you enter twice. And then you trim unwanted portion. So we don't need here. All right, let's do that again. So TR, enter enter right and you trim unwanted portion so you trim there you trim there we can't trim these line so we're going to we're going to delete those lines so escape and you select this line here and this line here and you press delete all right so there we go our wine glass using the circular method so in the next video we'll show you how to dimension this wine glass so thank you for watching